Peacock is streaming your favorite shows, movies, live sports, breaking news, exclusive originals, and every live WWE pay-per-view. It's The Office, Chris Lee knows best, and Peacock original shows like Punky Brewster. Peacock, watch for free, upgrade for more. Stream now at PeacockTV.com. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. We got our loud local band of the week, and this week, it's Woodshed. Loud and Local Band of the Week, Woodshed. Do you want to find out where they're playing, how you get their music? Just go to the BJ and Migs page of KISW.com. They're going to be in Everett on May 4th over at the Anchor. And check out their new record. It's really damn good. And it's called Between the Dreams. And Sunday nights, you're going to love that if you love local music. Two solid hours of all local music. Sunday nights at 10 o'clock right here on The Rock. Great bands like Woodshed. Friday, everyone, and uh, finally, I know, right? This week seemed to take forever. Did it really? It did. All right, fine. Yeah. <laughs> all right, fine. Fine. Even though it was nice and sunny all week, uh, well, except for yesterday, but it looks like it's going to still be kind of nice. I hope it's going to be good for uh, the weekend. We, no, it's going to rain tomorrow. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Damn yeah. it! <laughs> Sorry, all right, buddy. Fine. I guess I won't go outside and I'll play video games like I wasn't going to do that anyway. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Let's get to our contestant today. We've got Chris in Bellevue. Chris, are you there, sir? Yes, I am. Excellent. What's he playing for today, Steve? Tickets to check out Wayne Brady over at the Emerald Queen Casino on Saturday, May 11th. Go to KISW.com for all the details. If you want tickets, they're available now through Ticketmaster.com. All right, Steve, get out of here. Is Wayne Brady going to have to choke a bitch? <laughs> for those playing at home, Chris will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Chris, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Beginning with the letter V, a sudden internal or external spinning sensation is called what? Virgo. Yes. yes. Who played the title character in the 2015 movie Ant-Man? Paul Rudd. Yes. What year of the early 90s did the sitcom Beavis and Butthead first air? 92. No. 93. Yes. Who had the 84 hit song, What's Love Got to Do With It? Tina Turner. <laughs> yes. Zoology is the overall scientific study of what? Animals. Yes. yes. Who is the middle griffin child on Family Guy? Uh, Chris. Yes. Who played Mallory Keaton in the TV show Family Ties? 
Mm, pass. Which major network was MASH on? Da, 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 uh, da. CBS. Yes. Nice. Which Kellogg's frozen breakfast food was first known as Froffles? Frosted Flakes? No. Oh, excuse me. Eggos? Yes. What is the highest rank attainable in the Boy Scouts? Eagle Scout? Yes. Yeah. Chris gets a 9 out of 10. Oh, yeah, buddy. Ooh. Pretty good score there. You might Talk get yourself. Ha, 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 ha. Get Trash talk starting. You might get yourself a loser song. Think so. Well, Steve could be amazing. I, oh, he's he not could gonna, be wonderful. He's done. He could be perfect. He's overrated. I'm oh, uninspired. Wow. Yeah. Unimpressed, you mean? Yeah. yeah that too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I buy a text. I have a dedication for today's beat, Meg. Oh, nice oh, really? dedication. So, Steve, if you win this one, you should dedicate it to Dakota. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Like Dakota. Yeah, of course. That, was that in the 8 o'clock hour yesterday? It was. Yes. It was. Yeah. Oh, if, that was if epic. You, yeah, if you guys missed it, well, you can go back and listen to it and watch BJ, uh, or listen to BJ just kind of uh, no. destroy a poor soul. No, listen to BJ over a half hour. spout the truth. So he says, BJ, don't be brutally honest. Say I'm being <laughs> This guy played better than Dakota. Okay, crap. That's true. Damn it. <laughs> oh, this guy is this guy a champ. He, he could very well be. Yeah, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to have an easy road on this one, Skippy. <laughs> oh, fine, Skippy. fine, fine. Steve, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Beginning with beginning with the letter V, a sudden internal or external spinning sensation is Vertigo. called what? Yes! Who played go. the title character in the 2015 movie Ant-Man? Paul Rudd. Yes. Okay. What year of the early 90s did the sitcom Beavis and Butthead first air? 91. No. 92. No. 1990. No. Oh, yeah. Who baby. had the 1984 hit song, <laughs> What's Love Got to Do With It? What's love got, got to do with it. Tina Turner. Yeah. With the sexy legs that I use. Used to make love to myself with wow <laughs> zoology is the overall scientific study of what animals yes yeah. who is the middle griffin child on family guy yeah, how is this dave yeah peter no stewie no no, no. john no oh, who played mallory keaton on the tv show Just family Bateman. ties yes yeah, mallory. which major network was mash on <laughs> nbc no fox <laughs> no oh, crap cbs <laughs> yes oh you are so lucky which egos fro- wow which kellogg's frozen breakfast <laughs> This food was first known as frothles. Jeez, I wonder what that is. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. I'm going to guess Egos. Yes. Damn it. Well, at least you still lose. One, two, ah. three, four, five, six, seven. You lose nine to seven. Congratulations, Chris. Jeez. Boom. Man. Hey, uh, <laughs> DJ, I think you were right with giving crap to Dakota because he was an idiot. Oh, oh gosh. wow. <laughs> this is a polarizing subject. Yeah, well, you You're know, it love. really is. It really is. We just got a text from Dakota. Oh. And he even signed a Dakota hashtag or a slash Mr. Adrenaline. I got five out of ten today. <laughs> of course Hi. you did. And that's always what happens, man. It's those nerves. I think he was we just gotta nervous. Get Dakota, we, we'll give you some time to really catch your breath. We got to yep. give him a Weber Dakota, Dakota, when you're we ready, when you're ready to come back, when yeah. you've built up your confidence, yep. you get a hold of me. Get a couple consistent seven or eight out of tens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then uh, we'll get you back on and get you that redemption. Now, of course, what we really have to get is... Uh, uh, this, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's right. Woo! And I love someone who's near to me. Steve! I forget that you don't care about Family Guy, so I just no. imagine that you will just... I figure it's just an easy one for everyone. The middle child is Chris. Yeah, I don't even know who that is. Yeah, it's the middle but child. But Family Ties. Family Ties, yeah, you yeah. knew Justin Bateman oh, right away. I love that show. Yeah. Did the you Keaton really? Family? Yeah. yeah. It was who, a fun show. Who was your favorite character on it? Mallory. R- was it really Mallory? And then our oh. boyfriend, too. He was badass. Oh, I forgot <laughs> about the boy. Was that Scott Valentine? Yes. Yeah. Wow. And he had yeah. an awesome mullet, if I remember correctly. Yes, he Probably, did. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it was the first time like they he was a Republican kid in a hippie family. It was an interesting concept. Yeah. The Keaton family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Alex yeah, P. Yeah. Keaton. Alex yeah. P. Keaton. Michael J. Fox. Yeah, yes. yeah. Which of course led him to Back to the Future, which you all know him as. But that was a fun sitcom. Uh, the only other one that you missed was that it was '93 when the uh, when the sitcom Beavis and Butthead first aired. They were earlier on Liquid Television. Yep. But it was the sitcom started in '93. And more importantly, isn't it time for Vicky's impression? Oh, yes. In oh, please, yes, please. Vicky yeah. does the best Beavis and Butthead impression in Spanish because that's how she grew up watching it with her dad. Yeah. yeah. Yo soy orgullo y estoy buscando papelito amarillo para limpiar mi trasirillo. <laughs> I am the great cornholio. Cornholio. Keep it for my bum <laughs> We're going to score. <laughs> so awesome. I love Thanks, it. Thanks, Dad. Uh, uh, can you, like, shut up? <laughs> 
<laughs> that I, I appreciate that 100%. Uh, congratulations. Is starting to suck. Yeah. Congratulations to Chris on beating Steve. Good job, Chris. Yeah, you know what? You tie your beat, Steve. That's how you get the prize, just like that. Hey, can we? Do, I mean, I'd like to give a shout out to Dakota. The fact that he he, he took a beating yesterday on the give show during beat Migs, everyone made fun of him. It was a uh, rough yeah. go. Yeah, and still gets up this morning and listens to the show that clown or the host. I'm proud of BJ him. that clowned on him. I'm proud of him and this, has a good yeah. sense of humor about it. I think that's really freaking cool. Give it a shout. Well, that's what you expect. Get up, dust yourself off, and get back on that horse. That's what you want to see. And, and and Dakota, so far, I'm impressed myself. Five out of ten today on Beat Migs. I'm yeah. sure he's going to be listening in the nine or eight eight fifty, and we'll find out how he does in that one as well. Yeah, you know, there's a difference between really just being mean to somebody and really going, dude, I expect better from you. No, Let's you were go. Mean. I'm Let's go. Oh, yeah, I, I know. You know mean. what? Yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it really is. And I think our society has forgotten challenge over cruelty. And it's just, sometimes it can be a fine line, but, you know, they, 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 I think we need more challenge. I really do. I think I think we're coddling people a little too much. And Dakota, is, he's impressed me. I am impressed. Yes. So shout out to Dakota. Yeah, good job, buddy. And yeah. uh, one text says, Steve, I'm with you. When it came to Tina Turner, oh, she had legs. You're not. You guys weren't the only ones. I mean, that was one of that people always talked about Tina's legs. Do you guys remember your uh, like one of your early quote unquote celebrity girlfriends? See, Tina Turner was one for me. Yeah. Um, well, for me, it was. Uh, gosh, and it's really bad because. But I mean, I mean, I don't know how bad it was. She was really, really young at the time, but so was I. Oh, oh boy, I was. I mean, because okay. right. yeah, Penny Robinson. I don't from, even know that from Lost in Space. Angela Cartwright, oh, okay. who was a big star. She was in a show called Make Room for Daddy with Danny Thomas, which was a, a, a pretty popular show. And then she went on Lost in Space, the original one in the '60s. Yeah, I'm glad you said that though, because uh, I had um, somebody to try to give me a, a tough time. A, I was going to say hard time. But I realized I was a bad choice of words <laughs> in my society. Yeah. Um, I, we were talking about something, and I was Alyssa Milano. And I was like, Alyssa Milano was my, that was my main go to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're like, gosh, that's so weird. She was so young. I'm like, she's my age. Yes. When I was a kid, and she would, uh, I remember that one season on Who's the Boss where she came back and things developed, and they, they, they acknowledged it by putting her in a bikini in like episode one of that season. Damn. And that was when like the, the romance started yeah. that she's not aware of. But, but someone was like, oh, that's so weird. She was so young. I'm like, no, I was young too. Exactly. Like, that Penny's, made sense. Penny's actually older than me. Angela Cartwright's yeah. a couple years older than me. So it was, it was completely okay. And like the, the, I had calf cow action on uh, step uh, step by step. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Suzanne's yeah. daughter. daughter. Yeah, oh yeah, the blonde daughter. Yeah, I have to call out BJ for <laughs> Angela Cartwright. Why? She kind of looks like. Steve's like sister. Like if Steve had a oh my sister, gosh, she that looks like me with bangs. Yeah, oh, it totally looks no. like Steve. It kind of does. The smile, the eyes. Oh, that's it. You know what? You are insulting oh. Angela Cartwright. No, she, does she look like she could be Show related to you. She was also, I think, in the Sound of Music. She's a she's a beautiful woman. She looks nothing like Steve. I'm a beautiful woman. Exactly. And like I was Steve. also. Yeah. You guys, you music. guys are messed in the head. <laughs> I'm put, sorry. Let's put a wig on Steve, and I no. bet you it's the yes. exact same. No, it's the same smile. Rev, have you seen it? Dude, yeah, yeah. Is, she, it she looks did. just like Steve. You guys are high. She just bro. Steve with bangs. Angela Cartwright got the same lips. She was a beautiful child. She was a beautiful. I was a beautiful. Child. Steve, was a, Steve was a beautiful child, yeah. and I mean Angela Cartwright was uh, she and she was a really cute kid. You, I was a cute yeah. kid. You remember those? Things she was. That, I think she might. She might have been the youngest girl in the Sound of Music, if I'm not mistaken. I think she was the littlest von Trapp. All right. Yeah. Mine was always uh, Kelly Kapowski. Oh yes. Yes. Ethan. Oh my gosh. I'll see. For me, it was Lisa Turtle. Oh, see Lisa, no. Yeah. yeah. For me, they all look like Steve with wigs. <laughs> Uh, Kelly Kapowski, though, when she switched on over and went to 90210, and she was that oh my gosh. just naughty bitch. Valerie, hey, I think, was her name. You're yeah. Naughty, man. Yeah. That was, I always want the Kelly Kapowski shirt of her, like, uh, when she's just wearing her, her jacket yep. and her, like, bikini top. I'm like, ah, oh, that's, yeah. that's it. Oh, she was a she was a smoke show yeah. for sure. Somebody says mine was yeah. Alyssa Milano as well. An early '80s Madonna. Another person says pre crazy Britney Spears. I got a new one right now, and it it, 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 it I, so it says BJ celebrity crush was probably Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Used to love looking at those uh, wow. cave drawings of her. Wow. And just spend his time alone. I'll take the apple. Wow. Give me like, the apple by candlelight. I'm done with you people. So he says, please put a wig on Steve. I want to see this. Yeah, and yeah, you know, we got to go to the wig store, man. Put a wig on Steve, or at least, get, you know, you can Instagram, do some sort of filter on him, and put it next to Angela Carr, right? That, this is such an insult to that beautiful, beautiful woman. It does look like Steve. No, she doesn't. Maybe it's not. You know what? Maybe 
just maybe I would be an attractive woman, BJ. Oh my God, no way! <laughs> putting a, putting a wig on Vin Diesel or Vin Diesel's uh, brother that was in a car accident—that's basically who you look like. Wow. Yeah. Angela Carr, it's a beautiful. Why are you decoding me? I'm sorry, buddy, but <laughs> you, when people are going to say you look like Angela Cartwright, I have to I have to draw a line. How about this one? Hands down, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah. Uh, was that Party of Five? Yes. Yeah, Party of Five Fingers. I know what you did. <laughs> I know what you did last summer. Was she the one that was in that? Yeah, one? I know what oh Steve did last summer when he was watching Party of Five. And Winnie from uh, The Wonder Years. Oh, Winnie course. Cooper. Oh, yeah. yeah. Straight up. Yep. So Winnie says, Cooper. Winnie, doesn't Winnie Cooper kind of look like Angela Cartwright if we get pictures back to back? I they had the same hair, for sure. I think of also same facial structure. Are you I, saying Winnie Cooper looks like Steve? Yes. I think that's what he's saying. You don't think they look like, you don't think they look similar? Mm. Really? You don't? Mm. I think it's Brunette. just the hair thing. Brunette. Yeah. 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 Let All me of see skin. the face. Let me see it. Let me see her. They uh, have the same hair. I think that really helps. I think they look very similar. It's a, there's a there's a, there's a slight similarity. I would go with you okay, so you guys like Steve? That's what I was hoping. All you yeah. people like Winnie Cooper He's just like just Steve. Mad that he's attracted to you, Steve. It's okay, yeah. man. It's I okay. am not attracted to Steve. Angela Cartwright is everything you're not. You always talk about how much you're like my wife. So I mean, it's all coming together. Yeah. Oh, how much I'm like your wife? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. We we both put up with idiots. You're right. You know, Danny's in the room, guys. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot about that. Mila Kunis. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. That 70s oh, show? Yeah, I bet a lot of people had that 70s show. Though I'm, yeah, uh, it was like mid-20s me there at that look, point, though. I got to say, though, even though I'm an older guy, I'm a Donna guy. I mean, um, this is an attractive mm, movie, but I always loved mm-hmm. Donna. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you Whoa, think? no way. Are you crazy? Donna really? was hot, but man. No, oh. But dude, I'm, Mila Kunis is, is, it goes back and forth with uh, Jennifer Lopez for me as far as I, the hottest celebrity. See, I also like personality. I just thought Donna was a lot cooler and than I, Jackie. And oh, I can tell you right now, though, Mila Kunis was a really cool person. We interviewed her way, way back in the day when she was on oh, that so, 70s so, show. So Mila really? herself is Mila a herself. Cool okay. and, and, and it went well, and she gave me her phone number. Really? Not like she a, did not. Not like in a flirting way, but like, here's oh. my number. Anytime you guys want to chat with me, give me a well, ring. Let's call her today. You think I still have it? Why wouldn't you keep Mila Kunis' phone number when she says anytime Yeah, Steve, that's wanted, a fail, man. What the hell's wrong with you? I'd imagine she's changed the number over these years. What do you think? She has the what same number has from it? 17 years ago? You cannot make You know what? There's no way you can talk yourself out of the worst decision you've ever made in your life not and keeping that dude, number. Dude, it took a while before that restraining order got off of my uh, uh, okay. from call. Calling her all the time on the weekends. That's it. Hey, Mila. Doing a radio show right now. I said to call you if I had something to talk about. I and I wanted to talk about you. Nicole Egger, Charles in Charge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> take, take it easy. Wow. Take it easy over there. This is the memory lane out thing we really need. No, we don't. Topanga. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Topanga. A lot yeah. of people are saying Topanga. Yeah. See, again, you got to be old like me. All these other people. See, if I say any of these names now, it is creepy because I was probably in my 30s when that was going on. Christina Applegate, Kelly Bundy. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I can understand that. I can understand all these. You know what? But I have to go age appropriate for me. More Katie Seagal for me. Oh, look at you. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so you are you, are you an Al Bundy? Are, are you uh, a married with children, Katie Segal, or are you a oh, uh, Sons of Anarchy, Katie Segal? I never watched Sons of Anarchy, so it's always oh, married with so, children. She was so sexy in that show because she's just so wrong. I'm with this sexer. My first girlfriend was Paula Abdul in the Cold Hearted Snake video. That video was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I just remembered the uh, Janet Jackson cover where she was naked, but someone was like strategically covering parts. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, if we're gonna go back that way, I got to go to Baby Spice then. <laughs> I'm just saying, if we're going to go to videos, what? Paula Abdul is less goofy than Baby Spice? They yes. were pretty much all pop stars then. The Cold Hearted Snake video is sexy. And Baby Spice is pretty freaking sexy. <laughs> I'm sorry. You Out of all me. the spices? Oh, yeah. That, no. Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't say so. Oh, come the heck. Oh, I mean, baby she, Spice I'd is say just... she's second place. All right, well, second place ain't yeah. bad. <laughs> Jesus, I'm second place. <laughs> second yeah. I mean, come on, you're making me feel bad. Second she reminded me good. of that porn star that ended up uh, shooting herself. What was Jeez. her name? <laughs> well, that just got dark. <laughs> Savannah? <laughs> oh, like yeah, my, I know you're talking about. I like about, women but, who remind well, me of tragedies. Those geez, are the women. Yeah. Oh, that was a tragic ending, but oh, I, I couldn't remember how else to put context to the story. <laughs> she reminds me of Sharon Tate. I love her so much. What was it? Was it oh, named? man, she's so hot like Lizzie yeah, Borden. Savannah. Do you remember Savannah, the porn? Star, uh, well, she's a, she actually looks like the girl in uh, Two Broke Girls. She kind of reminds me of her. Uh, I don't know, Savannah. Uh, you don't think? No. Really? Let me see that picture again. You might want to get your she eyes looks checked. Just like the girl in Two Broke Girls. <laughs> <laughs> she's blonde and got straight hair. Okay, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> yeah, you kind of are. Yeah, you. you all right, all right, here. Have a, uh, these are better. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, whoa. Yeah. Oh, Savannah's my kind of girl. Oh, Savannah was fantastic. She was a great wow. actress. What? what? Real tragic. <laughs> what about that situation, though? That's that... not her. That's a different Savannah. Oh, okay. I was going to say, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a whole different Savannah. Well, you know, hey. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Savannah had the old school implants, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. This I mean, is, really... We're talking 90s porn. Yeah. Like, this is like, I think she was she paved the way for Jenna Jameson, yes, if I remember did. correctly. Yeah. All right, I got to talk about this presidential candidate who just admitted that he once took his own mother to see an adult film. I wonder if it was Savannah. Mm. It's a funny story. You're going to hear from him at 717 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. During a CNN town hall, presidential candidate John Hickenlooper shared a pretty crazy... What a great name. Oh, yeah, Hickenlooper's a great name. Yeah, Get Hickey yeah. 2020. <laughs> get Hickey 2020. Okay, wow. that's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you should be the campaign manager. Why? Does he not want to win? Yeah. You think he'll win with Get Hickey? <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, Get Hickey over here shared a crazy story about a time that he took his mom to see an adult film back in the day. You know what? Now Get Hickey doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> wow. He took his mom to an adult film when he was in college and he was home for Thanksgiving break. I didn't know what the next movie was. We thought it was a little naughty, but we didn't think it was that bad. I, I, again, you got to understand, I was 18 years old. I got home and she had this huge dinner laid out. And I said, oh, I promised, you know, I promised Jed that we would go to the, the movie theater and see this, this new movie. You want to come? Uh, it's an X movie. I don't know. I, you know, I just, I was sure that she would say no. I made a mistake. And she said, I'd love to go. So I took my mother to see Deep Throat. And, <laughs> Dude, Deep Throat. I remember when that came out. That was the hardest core of the hardcore back in the day. And for those that, I mean, obviously there's a lot of people that don't remember. There was once a time where in order to watch these adult films, you didn't have your phone to pull out and click on a thumbnail. You went to adult movie theaters. Yeah. I think it was called the Apple Theater here. And in, in, when I first moved out here, there was a, a still an adult theater. And it was like, in the, I think it was in the U district. I could be wrong. Of course I've been there. I'm only kidding. I knew where it was. No, but, but I think it was called like the Apple Theater. Maybe wow. Capitol Hill. Damn. There was one in New Mexico, and it was called uh, the Pussycat Theater. Of yeah. course it was. Yeah. yeah. It's still there, by the way. Oh, they you still have showing movies? Operating, There's still yep. an adult theater in yep. New Mexico. Yep. Wow, in Albuquerque. That's nuts, as it were. <laughs> wow. That, that is really crazy. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. So presidential candidate John Hickenlooper did go see Deep Throat with his mom. And, and, and to her credit, my mother was, I'm, I'm sure she was mortified, and, and I said repeatedly, I think we should leave, I think we should go. And my mother was the kind of person that, once she paid, she was going to stay. And, and at the end, she knew that I was humiliated, and as we drove home, I asked her, I said, well, that was some experience. And she goes, she says, well, I thought the lighting was very good in the movie. Like, wow. Dude, this is... The, I don't know this guy from anything, yeah. but... It's a great story. He's a good story. Teller. I was going to say, he tells good stories. Wow. Dude, I'm looking at the old Apple Theater. Apparently, those it was near where our old work was um, on 15th and Boren. Oh, okay. I mean, it looks like a very... Yeah, that's an Upstanding theater. That is a quality joint. <laughs> Apple Theater. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it just looks like you get syphilis just by looking at it. I like the whole idea, though, the bite of the apple. That's, of course, the original sin, if you will. Oh, I wonder if they still yeah. have shirts. Yeah. We need to make Apple Theater shirts. Okay. I'm sure Steve Jobs' people won't have a problem with that. God rest his soul. Hmm. John Hickenlooper for president. Hickenlooper. It's the lukewarm topic of the day. Yeah, so uh, why do we like presidential candidate John Hickenlooper? Well, because he took his mom to see an adult film back in the day. Deep Throat of all. So he's there with his mom, and Deep Throat is what you think it's about. Why would, would you not think just based on the name alone? But like he said, he said, I, I, I didn't know what an next movie was, really. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry. I, I think he's close to my age. At 18 years old, come we all, we know what an X movie on. is. This, yeah. He's a politician. That, Why that, would he take his mom to an X movie? That, yeah, I, I, that, Unless he's got some weird like Oedipus thing going on. Yeah, that's... It's awkward, man. Yeah, I would never think of taking any of my family to an X movie. Like, and, and we all knew that Deep Throat was basically, <laughs> you know, Amelia Clark impressions. I just remember being a kid, you watch adult films, not adult films, <laughs> uh, movies that had adult scenes in them, like boobs and stuff. And yeah. when you're around your parents while that's going on, you're a teenager, you're like, this is awkward. But Deep Throat? Oh, no, no. Yeah, that, I mean, that's even more super awkward. It's one thing with nudity. This is, mm -hmm. yeah, it is. Wow. 
Um, yeah, so that was uh, that was a very awkward family moment, I'm sure. It should have been anyway. So based on this, we want to know about your awkward family moments. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Had to be awkward when your son goes, let's go see a movie. And then you are the parent like, what are we watching? What was your awkward family moment? 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Your calls, your texts at your Foo Fighters on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Point nine K I S W the Rock of Seattle. Presidential candidate John Hickenlooper shared a nutso story about the fact that he took his mom to see an adult film back nutso, in the day. Huh, BJ. Probably shouldn't say that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he, he took her to see Deep Throat, so nutso is not a good thing to say. Some texters have brought up a very good point. In yes. all fairness, maybe they thought they were going to see a political movie about Richard Nixon. Oh, that's right, because that's what the they... The Watergate scandal. Yeah. With Deep Throat. I don't know who came first, if Deep Throat, ah, the movie, that's... came first, or the or the scandal the nickname. I, I feel like, I really feel like Deep Throat was nicknamed because of the movie. I don't know. Yeah. Look, I got, we're just yeah. trying to help Hickey out. Yeah. We're trying to go, oh, that's right, get Hickey. Get uh, Hickey 2020. Okay. They both came out in 72. Oh, not so we, I, Chicken or egg, man, we don't know at this point. I think, that, I think if my memory serves me, because I was 12 at the time, so I shouldn't even know that kind of stuff, but my memory serves me that, <laughs> yeah, even I knew at 12 years old that Deep Throat was like a rated X, like, oh my God. And when you see a big X on it, you kind of know, Plus, right? Plus, we all knew what it was about, because at the time... You know, this is how naive we were. We did not know what that meant. And so everyone said, well, what's so special about this movie? And they go, oh, you know why they call it Deep Throat? And then they proceed to explain it to you. And you're mm-hmm. like, oh, my. And that was, at the time, revolutionary. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, that's right up there with, like, you know, getting onto Mars. And Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was like, people, that happens? That kind of thing goes on? Now it's just, you know, I mean, all these kids today with their rock and roll music and their, de- their deep throats, yeah, you know. Okay. <laughs> no, just, no. Okay. All right, so um, let's go to uh, 206421 Rock. That's the number. Text us at 77999 because what we want to find out is it's very awkward for the presidential candidate to go see an adult movie with his mother. How about you? What was your awkward family moment? 206421 Rock. Text us at 77999. Uh, one text says, I came home from school to an empty house back in high school. I was feeling frisky, taking care of some business and right before you know the grand finale my mother walked through the front door as i'm hurrying to pull up my pants no word spoken i just went to my room for the rest of the night ha uh-huh. yeah yeah that's that would be mine grandma. that is yours yeah oh, you, yeah. You, yeah grandma you you scarred that grandma. poor woman I mean, well dude it was right when i first discovered that this is something that even can happen yeah and then at that point all bets were off i mean really it was like if i'm home i'm in my room and i'm doing that that was basically like that was adolescence yeah that was teen thing. years that was that was steve like you know what i'm baiting and it was certainly how i ended my night so i'm in bed doing what i'm doing <laughs> Grandma decides not to knock on the door or anything and just opens it up and says, Good night, Stephen. And then and there I am, like, oh, looking wow. at her. Oh, sheets God. are off. So there's nothing hiding this. Oh, oh you made eye no. contact? Oh. Oh. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, sorry, Grandma. And I, wow. was, I was speechless. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even say goodnight. That's how oh, rude I was. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just looked at her, and then yeah. she looked at me, and then just left. Yeah. Never spoke a word about it. Yeah. Um, the next day, my grandma, very religious, of course, <laughs> she's in the corner seat in our living room, just on the rosary beads, like aggressively doing praying. Yeah. And like you could tell it got more aggressive when I walked out. Because now I'm like, yeah. I gotta, I, at some point I have to leave my bedroom. Yeah, you do. I want breakfast. Yeah. And she's there. Yeah. And it was just like, uh-huh. luckily she was doing her rosaries. We knew not to speak to her while she's doing her rosary. So yeah. that's a very, yeah. that's her time. So I didn't have to say, yeah, hi. that's her time. You were having your time. Well, you know what? I would have knocked at least. You were doing your Rosie, and she was doing her rosary. She knocked every other time after that. Yeah, she did. And then the other one was when my buddy Chris was over. We were big Howard Stern fans, and we convinced my mom. This is back when Howard Stern did pay-per-views. Mm. So we ordered one of the pay-per-views. Oh, boy. And it was like his Miss America pageant, but like it involved like butt bongos and, you know, Howard yeah. Stern oh, stuff. Yeah. Grandma was over when all that was oh, going on. Oh, Grandma. And she's just like looking at my mom. Apparently my mom and her got into a big fight in the in the kitchen about this. She's like, you let your son watch this with his friend with the long hair? Because oh. my friend had long hair and she thought at first it was my girlfriend, but it was just my buddy Chris. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of awkward moments with Grandma. Oh, Grandma. I was say, like, as 
that is a hundred times worse than the person who caught me looking at porn. Who was that? My brother. Oh. He did not came in and I froze up. Luckily, I had the sheets over me, Steve. Yeah. Always, always the sheets over you. This was in the beginning stages of me discovering myself. I didn't know there were rules, Vicky. Fair, fair, fair. But this oh. is a PSA for everyone. But I lied and because there was this big old porn video and he's, I'm like, uh, uh, you know, sometimes I'm just checking, you know, BJ's emails and people send him some oh. weird stuff. What? I Wait, don't know. You dived I, out BJ on this? Well, because I, it was true. We'd get some weird true. messages at the time. I'm sometimes. the excuse for, you know, watching yeah, porn. Yeah, and like the show and people would send, I mean, I get the D pics now or people would be like, check out this hot chick. <laughs> and so I'd be, you know, the one editing through and deleting sure. and responding. So I'm like, yeah, this is just a link that someone you sent said that, Steve. You should have said, look, I'm preparing for a show I'm going to be doing in about 30 years. <laughs> yeah, I was 13. <laughs> That's kind of a tough call. One yeah. day there will be the internet. Yeah. Oh, Grandma. Dude, you were right there. Full oh, full salute. Not only that, BJ, oh, just to kind of like, I'll never oh. forget this, because how I saw her was through my own legs. Because oh. I'm on my bed and my oh, knees are up God. in the air. Like, oh, that's, that's a visual I never needed. Wow. Now I have. Thanks, wow. Steve. You. If you want to make it worse, Happy you can Friday, recreate it. Everyone. Just churn and butter. <laughs> there you go. Oh, gosh, here we go. Churn and butter with Grandma. Oh, this is my bed. Oh, no. I can't even see what's happening. Don't even see. You don't want to see this, Danny. Why did I look? I don't know why I needed to look. I knew it. I knew what was going to happen. Did we? We didn't take a picture of that, did we? Maybe. What are you oh, going to do with that? I don't yeah. know. Instagram. I, mean, I, can, I don't think Instagram. I can, but I like that I have it. Hashtag how grandma busted Steve. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, that's grandma cam. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Yeah. Phrasing. Yeah. Oh, oh, Vicky, you geez. actually. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not necessary. Wow. Not intentional. <laughs> okay. You know what? Seriously, this is not where I wanted my career to go. We're talking a lot about <laughs> self love today, guys. Yes. Yeah, we sure are. Yeah. I blame Cam Newton. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. We need Cam a lot Newton. of like self care and you know just you know loving ourselves. So this is just a perfect opportunity to promote that. No, oh, is that it, Vicky? I'm <laughs> trying to make okay. crap up. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. How about this sex? My family awkward moments when my ex wife told my mother about my new piercing, the Prince Albert, and then my mom asked, "Well, what was that and why?" Oh. Yeah. Mm. Or another one, I had to tell my dad that my sore throat was. Was actually an infection from my mouth from oral sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What? Can you imagine? Why would you share that information? Why can't you just say I got something? No. Yeah, why would you have to go? Well, I think yeah. it's from this. No one needs the details. I yeah. feel like your daughter would do that. Like just I, because I she has no filter. That. See, that, I, don't, oh. I don't want to know that's how you have a sore throat. Don't tell me that. I would totally tell everyone that. Oh, I feel like that's something you ought to flaunt, you oh, know? Oh, no. Yeah. No, this is Maryland Some Chambers. Some girls don't even do that nowadays. No, no. So, you know. Yeah, but do you flaunt it in front of your father? No, don't. I flaunt it in front of anyone. Let's get real. This is why I can't stand Joey, by the way, because Joey knows Sarah will say anything and Joey will sit there and when she was a little kid and just basically drop these sex bombs that all of a sudden she'd go dad what does this mean in the middle of a freaking rest a subway restaurant in Cannon Beach yeah Joey would call me like sex toys and I would have no idea like what they meant uh, and kid. so I'd be like dad what does this mean Joey yeah. just called me that yeah and I'm like what and yeah. why did you wait until like an hour later when we're having a subway foot long why would you do that <laughs> well yeah perfect timing yeah. something that I will never forget though and it's in my mind, probably like you, Steve, with your yes. grandma, is walking in on you and mom, ah! no, having no. sex. No, that never happened. I what? made, was the boom boom mix on? <laughs> yeah, and Sarah, it was like that meditation That never music. happened, Sarah. You were just having a bad dream. Do, no, uh, do we need to recreate it? No. Like, just, just, no. do, you, do, you, do you and Steve and uh, BJ want to <laughs> recreate it? <laughs> the hard pass. You would be on and top. We yeah. would make eye contact. I would like shake and close the door and like run to the kitchen. You made eye contact with dad or mom? Mom. Mom okay. was on top. So dad was facing the other way. I opened the door and mom was like facing me. Oh. Yeah. So I. Atta boy. Visual, <laughs> man. I don't like. Still, this visual. Is a very, dude, I cut wow. through the conversation. It was. Cowboy, it's in baby. My mind forever. I walked <laughs> to the kitchen and I'm like shaking. I'm like, that. I didn't just see that. That, that didn't happen. Uh, that didn't happen. And like maybe, maybe a minute or two later, my mom comes out way too happy. I was like, oh, hi, honey, and hugs me. And I'm like, oh, shower. No. I shower. And I was like, hi, hi. And she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, mom, your shirt is inside out and backwards. Like, mm. I know what was going on. I'm on to you. I, I saw, like, I just couldn't. How I couldn't. old were you, honey? Uh, uh, like, maybe 
14 or something. Oh, that's too old to see that. God Way dang too it. old. You kids would never knock in and, and open in doors. Grandma's too, BJ. I know. Yeah. Jesus, what's wrong with you people? Wait, wait. Inside out and backwards like your underwear yesterday? Oh. Thanks for putting that on Twitter, by the way. Don't even you talk didn't about need to that. Read that. Yeah. What is happening wow. with this show? What is wrong with everybody? I know. We don't need underwear. We don't need stories. We don't need Steve, Steve well, on his I back. Look at Twitter. When, I don't even know wait, how it happened. When honestly. When you've been wearing your panties inside out and backwards <laughs> the entire day and just realized, why am I like this? <laughs> yeah, it was it was interesting to find out. Did you see that tweet, BJ? I don't <laughs> need to see that. I don't need. And Thursday thoughts. Yeah, that's not yeah, a Thursday thought. Yeah, I could hashtag the Thursday thoughts. Those are Thursday sure. thoughts. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. It's more like ratchet ramblings, it should be called. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jesus. actually. I like that. Gosh. Okay, I'm done. I had a Thursday thought too, but it had nothing to do with panties. <laughs> oh. Why? Well, don't give that look on your face. It's like your no, grandma. It's super look. PG. Okay. Oh, right. Can I ask you guys a really stupid question? Yeah. Yeah. Do I do this right now? It's super quick. Okay. I, I, I was just thinking the other day. Has anyone ever tried to make cookies on a George Foreman grill? <laughs> no. Why okay, not? You know what? I really wow. thought this was going to be sexy. It really is stupid. Thank yeah. you. No, that is okay. very sexy. I've heard yeah. people do it with uh, I don't uh, have a George waffle. Foreman grill. He's like a two-year-old. He looked at me like a little kid that came into the kitchen and said, I think I broke something, Pops. <laughs> no, I just yeah. always, I just think about this yesterday, like what would it taste like and, and how hard would it be? Would, it be, would, they, would, they, would they be good? It should be good. Yeah. Um, well, wait. The, the grill, the grill is serrated, or is it a flat? Or is there a flatness to part of the grill? I don't have a George. I mean, yeah, you're gonna have like some little like divots, but I mean, can you just cook a cookie on there, and how would it taste? Well, I, I guess you can put cook. Well, usually you put them on a sheet. Yeah, as I long know. as it doesn't like fall through. The, That's the problem, Steve. You got to put grits. Your, I could yeah. get Johnny Rubbers on this though. Does he, he have a Foreman at, grill? No, but he has a grill. I have a George Foreman. A George well, Foreman grill is different than a well, grill. Well, does anybody have barbecue no. cookies? Because, I, I mean, it's like the same I've kind of grill that. thing, isn't it? Kind of. Yeah. I know you can do it with a waffle maker. You, you can, can make cookies with a waffle yeah. maker. So I it's think, kind of the same thing. Yeah. Like a chocolate chip cookie? Yeah. Mm. Really? I've seen you can do hash browns. You can make pizza. All right. You can do cinnamon mm. rolls. Just put the cinnamon rolls, the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls well, in Can there. I ask why you got this idea? You just want to make homemade cookies on a grill? Uh, well, I don't have a George Foreman grill, so I can't even do it. I was just <laughs> thinking, how does this come to your brain? I don't know. God, I Thursday re- thoughts. It was I a Thursday thought. Yeah. Between mean, you and my daughter, I wish I could live your lives. I mean, you don't even own a George Foreman grill. <laughs> You're going, you know what I think it is? It just came to me right now. And the funny thing, I was Were gonna... you stoned at least? No. Oh, no, God. sober. God, that's even worse. That's what goes on in my brain, man. I know. Your poor wife. How does she do it? Oh, yeah, I even put up, I, I, I never sent the tweet because I was like, oh, this is too stupid. So, of course, I put it on the air where more people are going to hear yeah. it on my yeah. Twitter. So, so yeah, just you, press but tweet. it said random thought. Has anyone made cookies on a George Foreman grill? So what we need in this show I is guess I'll need, tweet it out tweet now. Tweet it. You should still yeah. hashtag Thursday uh, Thoughts it, though. No, no. You know what? That's why they have a draft folder. Hashtag Friday <laughs> Feelings. <laughs> there you go. We should have Ooh. a draft folder on the on the radio so that maybe you could have come to me with that stupid question. And then we could put it in the draft folder and see if we <laughs> liked it with your Twitter. But no, you said. Well, it. no one's texted, so apparently nobody's tried this. Or either that, even the people driving go, I cannot even dignify Would this. Would you like us to talk about your daughter's panties some more? I mean, I was <laughs> trying call. to help Everybody, you. please help I us out. I think they're on the, the right Foreman way company. today, you guys. I like uh, triple check. Great. Thanks for that. You think. Thanks, Sarah. Think. That's really great news. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'd rather hear about the. Would you like puppy. me to check? I would, actually. Whoa. <laughs> I bet right. somebody's done it, Steve, to be honest with you. I bet someone's made a Foreman grill cookie. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you if you could? I mean, it's, you know, it's portable. It's Whoa. right there. I don't know if this is true. Someone says in the news, someone burned down a house by trying to cook cookies on his George <laughs> Foreman grill. Oh. What? I think, you know what? That story sounds familiar now that you mention it. Dude, someone says, yeah, if you Google somebody... <laughs> How do you feel? How do you feel that you're on the same brave length, brain brave wavelength, brave length, the brave length, <laughs> the, th- the same brain wavelength as the idiot that burnt down? The- do you? I mean, he had the same idea you did. did but I didn't do in, it, and he didn't put it in the draft folder either. And he burned his house down. Your poor wife. Look, I didn't do it. Not yet. Okay. Because I feel like you're the kind of guy who go. I know I can do it without burning my house down. I know I can. Jeez. All right. Hey, the Motley Crue movie. Oh, I forgot it's out today. I saw yeah. it. You already seen it? Yeah. How'd you see it? It's, did you get up early? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, my God. You're hardcore. Wow. Hardcore. No, I, I, I got my hands on it ahead of time yesterday. You beggar. I would have watched it yesterday, too. <laughs> well, you should have came over. We would have had some cookies on the Foreman Grill. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> what a time. Yeah, the, the Dirt is actually out now on Netflix, the Motley Crue movie. The film has been 16 years in the making. What took them so long? You're going to hear from Nikki Six at 747 on The Rock.
Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Travis, if you're upside down in your mortgage, should you continue to make the payment? Continuing to pay your mortgage or not is a complex decision because you're going to have to pay to live somewhere. You're going to have a housing payment. So continuing to make your house payment really depends on several factors. One is whether or not you have a second mortgage. Um, The second one is how affordable your ongoing monthly mortgage payment is. Uh, Another uh, issue is whether your mortgage is adjustable and you're facing an increase in your mortgage payments later on when interest rates go up. If you do have a second mortgage in this economy with the housing prices being down, oftentimes we can re- we can take off or strip off that second mortgage in a Chapter 13 case so that you'd only have the first mortgage to continue to pay. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. And thanks for listening. I'm Erin Ryan, political commentator, comedy writer, and host of Crooked Media's Hysteria. And I'm co-host Alyssa Mastromonaco, former White House Deputy Chief of Staff for President Obama. Each week on Hysteria, we are joined by a team of hilariously opinionated ladies to discuss the headlines from the serious to the absurd. We cover everything from reproductive rights to rom-coms and break down the political news of the week and cultural stories that affect women's lives. New episodes of Hysteria drop every Thursday. Listen on Odyssey, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.